Now, a Muslim head teacher is facing jail for continuing to run an illegal Islamic private school despite being convicted of running the school out of a rundown building back in September 2019. Ofsted, the school's inspector, found material at the school encouraging parents to hit their children if they did not pray, materials saying a woman had no right to deny sex to her husband. Now, let's be honest, many of these schools are effectively a way to indoctrinate children. But what was the sentence for Nadia Ali from South London back in 2019 for illegally setting up the school? Well, a thousand quid and five days community service. Pathetic. Which is why we shouldn't be surprised that Miss Ali got the school back up and running almost immediately after she was handed the sentence. Now, not that it isn't blindingly obvious, but we don't take this sort of thing very seriously. Ofsted clearly needs more powers to crack down on illegal faith schools and our sentencing laws need to stop taking the British public for mugs. I mean, there were so many red flags before this school even opened. The school literally failed a pre-registration inspection by Ofsted. The school had not even conducted the most basic checks on teachers working at the school. And surprisingly, inspectors also found that the school had no plan in place to promote British values, something that all schools have a legal duty to actively promote. But what worries me is the complete lack of power to actually do anything about this sort of thing. Ofsted has flagged almost 300 suspected illegal schools since 2016, an estimate that up to 6,000 are taught in them, 6,000 children. And most of the illegal faith schools are Islamic schools. And despite this, only a few prosecutions have ever been made. The people who run them know how to exploit legal loopholes, how Ofsted have little power, and know if they get caught, it's a slap on the wrist and you'll be on your way. We're facing a very uncertain future. The Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, has already warned of a surge in terrorism plots against Britain as the Taliban take over Afghanistan. 20,000 pupils have also fallen off the school roll during the pandemic. God knows where they'll end up. Now, I'm not against faith schools. If we can regulate them, make sure children aren't being indoctrinated, and if the law can come down hard on rogue educators who break the rules, then fine. But I don't want to see a single child growing up in this country getting indoctrinated with extremist ideologies, with sketchy teachers, with dodgy views. I don't want to see a single child being taught to be sympathetic with those who wish to destroy our way of life and those who abhor our values. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? It's almost like he's, these, these type of things help create a society within a society, don't they? Exactly, and, and this is the kind of... Well, I gave a monologue about integration not long ago, and some people did uh, say on Twitter, well, how, you, how can you force somebody to integrate? If they don't want to integrate, there's not much more you can do about it. But these are the sorts of things that the, the government, the state, can do to mm. support integration. They can start by cracking down on people who want to set up schools and essentially teach children any old, uh, you know, yeah. dodgy ideology. Uh, and, and, you know, schools that are not promoting British values, you know, shock horror. Mm. Uh, that's the kind of thing I think you, you should start with when you're trying to create a society where everybody is sort of broadly in agreement about the fundamental values uh, that we hold dear uh, as a society. Well, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It's common sense, really, which is lacking, I think, all too often in this country and from the powers that be. It makes sense that we're all pulling in the same direction. And if you allow certain schools or, or whatever to operate and they're promoting... Frankly, sometimes an archaic world view and an archaic view on things when it comes to women's rights and gay rights, etc. What possible benefit is that going to mm. do? Very often, the way that a lot of these schools tend to get rumbled is eventually when Ofsted does decide to, to go, they end up in the school library and that's where you see books there that kind of promote, essentially, you know, women staying at home or promote uh, attacks on gay people and things like that. And that's all too often how they end up uh, failing that Ofsted review. But, um, but yeah, I, I think our government needs to be doing more, doesn't it? To